and Sarah Beth, and I am here. I'm always here. What am I, about? I wanted to share with you this amazing organization that Sarah Beth told me about a while ago, actually. It's just pretty awesome. Y'all know that I am all about arting and women finding art. And and it brings you out of the, in America and first world country, it brings you out of like some really dark places. Mm -hmm. um, but there's other countries where there's even darker places and third world countries where these women have been like sold as slaves, right? And just mm -hmm. like sex trafficking and stuff. And this organization that she's an ambassador for works with these countries and these people. You're, you're gonna share, because I have, I don't know, I don't, this is the part where I don't know what I'm talking about. But they make these beautiful pieces of jewelry and they're arting and they're pouring themselves into these pieces of jewelry. They're getting paid fairly. And I was able to support that. And I wanted to share that with you because I know how much y'all love that too, to just help each other. And it's about community and it's about bringing up other women. Mm -hmm. So Sarah Beth, tell us more about this, this awesome Noonday company. Yeah, so Noonday Collection is um, a social responsible business that uses fashion and creativity to create meaningful opportunities for women in other nations. Their heart is just to connect people here in the States with women overseas and so creating a marketplace for artisans in, in other nations and, and helping their product get over here to the States and just bridging that gap so that we can support them and um, just just love love all the jewelry that they have. Love them and love their jewelry. Yes, it's yes. It's so good, there's so much love. Yes, <laughs> so when you partner with Noonday by making a purchase, um, our heart is just that together we're creating a flourishing world where children are cherished and women are empowered and people have jobs. Something that's really neat about Noonday is that they go into vulnerable communities throughout the nations and um, just really create an opportunity for meaningful work for those women and families there and so, um, each purchase uh, is just something that supports women on the other side of the world and also is just a fun thing for, for us over here and a cool way to, to make a difference and to be a world changer. It makes me weepy. Like when yeah. I got mine in and then they sent the card and I was like, oh my gosh, I started crying because... Yeah like your dollars really can make a change and mm -hmm. I think it's beautiful I think it's wonderful to support the United States of America made in the USA but I also think for me personally as a Christian I believe it's my job to reach these people who are poor you know the 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 helpless the poor I really do I'm thankful I'm very very thankful that that this uh, organization exists. Yeah, and so the, and the reason why it's actually called the Day Collection is is based on um, Isaiah fifty eight ten that says when you satisfy the needs of the oppressed, then your sun will shine like the noon day. Oh my gosh, so, I didn't even know that. Yeah, that's so awesome. Yeah. So the cool thing is that every piece um, of noon day has a face and a name behind it, and um, is just goes through lots of different people within the artisan group and um, lots of different hands touch it and, and go to just make that product just beautiful and, and handmade. It's just a really, just a really neat organization. Yeah, like they were saying some of these people, they're so excited to say they're going to work in the yeah. morning. And how many of us are like, oh, I gotta go to work, yeah. you know? And they're just like so excited that they get to go to work and get paid fairly. Right. That's the big thing is they're getting yeah. paid fairly. So like. Like I, I, just being honest, I was like, oh my gosh. But when I found out that these these people are being paid fairly, I'm like, right. that makes sense because it's not like your sweatshops where right. they're just being mistreated and you know they seem pretty happy with the pictures. Yes. Anyway, they seem pretty happy to go to work. So. Yeah, and something neat that Noonday does is ambassadors actually get to go over and visit some of our artisan partners, oh and they always say gosh. that it's just like the most life giving experience they're just because so happy. they're so joyful and so excited, and they just love what they get to do. And so it's not just that it provides a job for them, but but really that they get to do something meaningful like they get to create with their hands and that's so, huge yeah. that's what we're all about over yeah. here on my little tiny part of youtube land i'm yes. like just create this you were meant to create so that's why i just love it they look so beautiful because i'm so excited about this i told sarah because i don't have I'm very, very busy. I'm a very busy person. It's hard to get all of my friends into one spot locally. And so I was like, you know what I could do? And still, because they're very much about connection. They really want to make the connection for people. I was like, you know what? I think 
if I did a video and was able to share about the company, the Noonday, that I think we could make that connection still. Yeah. I could still do the, the trunk show thing. Oh my gosh, I just want to make a difference. I just yeah. want to make a difference. And so anyway, that's what we're doing today. So I'm really excited. We're going to show you all some pieces, share some stories, and it's going to be super fun. Awesome. Awesome. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm. So this is the Latifa necklace and um, Latifa works at African Style in Kampala, Uganda. So this is, necklace is named after her and she was a sweet single mom who was just having a hard time making ends meet for her family before um, the meaningful work that, that Noonday has provided her with working in this artisan group. And so um, something that's really cool about this necklace is just that each piece is handmade and hand rolled and so all the beads that, that Noonday has mostly come from um, African style in Uganda and so um, through the work that Latif has been able to do she's not only been able to support um, her, there's a hair right there. <laughs> Well, it's gonna bug me. <laughs> she's not only been able to support her own family and children, but also um, her extended family, and so has really seen her community change. Um, and so, yeah. So this piece is from Uganda, and these earrings are from India. The guitar pick earrings. The guitar pick earrings. Yes. yes. That's what I call them. So this is the Latifa necklace, and these are the expanse earrings from India. Okay, I'm butting in. <laughs> I wanted to show off my bracelets that I got. This is the glimmer one, and this is the clustered bracelet. Where is it? There, and berry, because it's got purple. And this is the Sophia wrap, which I had to have, because I just love that. And then the other pieces I got, I got this bracelet. This is the orchid rope bracelet from India. I tend to choose the one pieces that come from India. See, I am. I do love the Indian pieces. And then I got the Safari Staff bracelet, which these come in three colors. But I got the, this one. I would love to get the salmon one. I don't know if this is in focus or not, but you can stack these different ways and they just look, the colors look so pretty together. So that's what I have so far. So far. So far. <laughs> this is like, I'm feeling that this might be kind of like a chic sparrow addiction maybe. Anyway, I just wanted to share my pieces and my personal collection. So this is a dainty More. paper bead necklace. And so our paper beads, we have different styles. So some of them are bigger and some of them are these dainty ones. African style in Kampala Uganda is actually Noonday's first artisan partnership and so Jessica Honiger um, started the company five years ago because she was in the middle of international adoption and they were adopting a little boy from Rwanda and so they had a, their own business and um, they it just ended up crashing and not doing well but they were in the middle of their their adoption and so they were wondering kind of Lord how are we going to handle this like what are we going to do and so someone connected them with this couple who had been making jewelry in Uganda and so they were looking for um really for a resource to kind of get their stuff out here to the states and so um just really through the word like Jessica and, and Jalia got connected and so that's how Noonday got started she hosted a trunk show in her own house and had a bunch of these paper beads that they had made and um it ended up going really well and she's like I'm gonna start this company and so yeah. um our heart is really to help adoptive families too um, so with cool. new day collections. And I like these fuzzy earrings. Yeah, these are the... Um, they remind me of some sort of feather bird, like a like one of those birds that like like peacocks, you know, and they're like... <laughs> when they take their butt and they... I don't know. Someone was saying that they look like paintbrushes. They do kind of look like a little paintbrush. Paint so they're a little... Our artsy like earrings from Haiti. The thing that I saw that I love, I'm going to steal here. Mm. You can mix and match stuff. So you yes. can like make it different in just like this weird hand coming <laughs> in. <laughs> thing. Yeah, you can so yeah, you can, match. You I love can it. Stack things up or wear things different. The fun thing is that it kind of gives us an opportunity to kind of change things up. So then this one you were talking about, they hand hammer it. Yes. So this one is from um, Kenya and we um, our artisan partner there, they do hammered brass and so each one of these leaves is hand hammered yeah I would say that hand hammered and so um it's just a really really cool thing that um that New Day is working with this artisan group and so um it's p partnering not just with women in that nation but also with the men who work in the artisan group and so um there are some men that do work in some of our I artisan saw groups. the picture that there was a yeah. man in there yeah and so like I think that he heads up um this one in Kenya cool yeah 
So. So this is in Kenya too. No, Kenya. Yeah. Yeah. This, this is, is Kenya. Kenya. Yes. Oh, there's so they many do the places. Hammer press. Yeah. So we have artists and partners in um, Kenya and in Rwanda and Uganda, Ethiopia, and um, in Afghanistan, in Vietnam, in Haiti, in India, in Peru, Ecuador, and Guatemala. So this is the Evangeline necklace, and um, it's made of mixed metal. And then it also has these little moonstones in it, which is really cool. And it's made in India. And this is Seren Serenity Wrap Bracelet and the Glimmer Bracelet. And so um, we have a lot or quite a few of artists and partners in India. And some of the pieces just always seem to be my favorite. And I love this Evangeline necklace because you can um, wear it shorter or longer. And so it's really on trend this season. So dainty necklaces are really in um, this season and also mixing metals. So we have this silver and this gold necklace from Ethiopia and these are actually made of recycled artillery shells which is really cool. So in Ethiopia it has been like a war torn area and so um, there are a lot of artillery shells on the ground and so just it's a really cool picture that they can take something broken and make it into something beautiful and just that really a story so cool. of redemption which is really what? cool. That's awesome. um, and so also something that's in is mixing different geometric shapes and um, so a few different pieces. This is the navigation necklace from um, Vietnam and this is the tide pool from Peru and the legacy necklace from India and this is also a moonstone. So That's a moonstone too? Mm -hmm. Now what makes it yeah. a moonstone? It's just a certain stone that oh, they... Oh I see. Yeah. It's see-through. Yeah, it's, it's a, a real stone, stone that I they have so in big. India. That's so. really cool. And yeah. you said these ones were moonstones mm -hmm. as well. Okay. I like it. Oh, yeah. These ones. Cool. Yeah, so these are also this material, like the recycled, the, the recycled artillery. artillery. Mm -hmm. See, that looks really pretty. That's the same look. Yeah, so I haven't mastered how to like wear these. Like, a lot of people are putting them together, and I look like... I have you a big like neck. <laughs> I was like, this, is like <laughs> this thing was like standing up. <laughs> like, these are my go-to ear. Like I wear these probably every day, and people are like, <laughs> I would never wear those every day. And I'm like, this is my jam. Like the Show leather, the leather feather fringe earring. I feel like they're very Texas. <laughs> you know, with the like leather. You know, I don't know. The, we're all into feathers and yes, chic below. Oh well, good because I love feathers. So yeah. The, um, those are crescent fringed earrings that are made in India, and so they make them out of leather. And I love them. So this is our rustic leather tote, and it is um, handmade in India. And something that's really cool is it is made by the untouchables in India. So you know, in India, the, there's a caste system, and so there are different. Um, just caste that people are in and once you're in that caste or born into it or your grandfather was in it you are stuck there for life. The untouchables are, are usually not able to be employed in this nation and so New Day does not discriminate based on caste. It provides a meaningful work that they can have a living wage from and so um, these bags are actually our top sellers with New Day just because they're so beautiful and they start out um, kind of like a light color and then they darken over time. We all know about patina. Yes, yes so, we do. Yeah. It's patina. also um, ethically high risked leather. So Because yeah, you're a vegetarian. Yes, I am a vegetarian so I had a hard time buying a leather bag, but um the cool thing is that they, they it's ethically harvested and so um, most likely a community is able to eat that goat, which to me that makes it better. Is it goat so, leather? So yeah, this is goat leather. To me, I'm like, okay, it's That's okay. True. I can buy this bag because it was not killed for the purpose of I'm my yeah, 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 yeah. my pretty leather bag. Right. <laughs> so, right. Is there other, yeah. is there so, other bags in there too? Yeah. So this is made. This is a Kathmandu bag, and it's made from the Purna group in Nepal. And so this particular artisan group helps a lot of women who have maybe been vulnerable to human trafficking so it's one of my favorites just because I love beetle. any tangible way to help um, fight against that. So. Yeah and it's got little feet on the bottom mm -hmm. which is nice and it's so big on the inside. Look how big Huge. It mm. It's like a carpet bag. This is the great escape from um, made in India and so it's fun because it's got that mix of um, fabric and leather and just a fun black and white block trend. This is like wool. Yeah, I throw my laptop and all my stuff for like teaching, so it's been helpful because you can wear it as a crossbody, which is See, that's the one amazing. thing a lot of women like the crossbody better. Yes. 
Just because it's like hands free. Sometimes you got a baby in one hand and a I coffee know, in the other. That's mm. right. This is the um. My brain just like the blanked out. It's the, I was about to say it's the Aladdin bag. I'm like, this is not right. <laughs> this is the Labella bag um from Peru, and it's one of my favorites just because can throw everything in there, and it also just reminds me of Aladdin. It does. So. It does. We were singing a whole new world at church. Mm -hmm when she had this bag. <laughs> I mean, it's just slightly magic carpet. So. It is. And your earrings go well with it. You know, it's helpful that I wear those almost every day. I know. And <laughs> I use this bag. bag for teaching. Yeah. Okay, there's one thing that you had shared about quality control because oh, some, yes. some places that do, and then also about the long-term. Partnership. Partnerships, yes. yes. And I'll like scooch. Yeah. So I some things just just like show extra fun stuff. So New Day, their whole heart is to have long-term partnerships with these artisans, and so instead of just saying we need this many of this, they really partner with them kind of for years to come, and so that way that they can have things in each season and each catalog from that artisan group. So it's cool that that's just their heart is to to really help them long term. These are handmade with love, but there's also a standard in in that they you know, expect things to look a certain way and it's gonna be a high quality product. And that's, you know, the beauty is it's still fair trade and it still provides a living wage for them, but it's also gonna be an awesome, beautiful product that you're gonna get here to wear. And be able to, to wear a while. Yes. For, that's a big deal. Yeah. Cause I've had, my, I don't know where those other paper beads I've had, but I've had them for a while. Yeah. And these paper beads actually are really darn durable. Yes. Oh look, I have a jump ring yes. from my beading. Speaking oh. of beads. <laughs> How do we go about supporting and, and helping these women out with our purchase? Like where do we go? Yeah, so you can go, you can shop directly online through um, Allie's link. So it'll go towards her trunk show that she's um, so sweet in hosting. And um, hosting is super important with New Day because their whole heart is to have trunk shows. Each purchase makes a difference for a new day collection and each partnership and so we love hostesses so um you can go through her site and get all of the goodies let's close it october 1st because we want to make sure it all gets through quickly so everything's get done quickly what i'm gonna do y'all is is when i'm done with my trunk show i'm gonna actually replace the link from my trunk show just with sarah beth's uh, like ambassador link so that yeah. you can she can still be found through there really excited about this organization and how they're making such a huge positive change in these people's lives and just makes me happy and I'm happy that they're creating and mm -hmm. like this Latifa has a necklace named after her. Yeah. So that's so sweet. Thank you so much, Sarah Beth, for yeah, coming. Yeah, thank you. And sharing with me and sharing with my viewers. And thank you all so much, so much for watching and for just, just your grace and watching a different type of video. But it's still in the same vein because we all care about each other. We all care about other women creating, other women learning how to just find a better, a better life, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's exciting. I'm excited. All right. I will see y'all later. Here's come the creepy hand. We go, bye. <laughs> 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 Movie making magic. <laughs> Movie making magic. Yes. Yes. Putting, get the fuzzy wuzzy off of there. <laughs> have to be super close. Yes. Yes. We're just squeeze the rest of the part. HGTV. HGTV. And this, <laughs> what else you get? Is this, oh wait, this way. Yeah. Here's a word for like editing. Right? That you can, I know. Like, I'd be so it this is like a Facebook person. Live. I'm just, <laughs> just fired. <laughs> fired. You'll see I'm like the green. Oh, that's awesome. Do you like that? Do you like that?